G'day fellas and fellowettes from the interwebs. I'm your host for this afternoon, evening or night or morning. DJ Ignite. I'm not really DJ but neither are you. Um, you can tell I'm not a DJ because I don't actually, I, I don't jockey discs. Um, I, I just create music. So, you know. Um, first of all, I just want to acknowledge that yes i do know that my voice can only be heard from the left speaker that is because my sound card for whatever reason well actually no not my sound card fraps for whatever reason is taking the one channel input from my microphone through my sound card as just one side and if i were to unplug my mic and put it into the other side then it will you only hear my voice from the right so uh unfortunately there's nothing i can really do about that so devo for you Alright, so, alright, so uh, on my YouTube, I've got these two uh, tutorials here, how to make dubstep in FL Studio using Citrus, and then a number two, uh, pretty much the number two was just to show off a few different um, techniques that I figured out, and uh, this tutorial was actually a third one, um, for those of you who are actually keeping in track what I do, or the songs that I put up on YouTube, um, you would have heard already my latest song called Dawn, as the title would suggest up here, and it's a, a dubstep song. So um, I'm just going to start it off for you. I'm going to keep the volume down a little bit so I can talk over the top and you can actually hear me. here we can see that I've got multiple instances of the same citrus but they're numbered differently at the end. So if we have a look at them we can see that I've got my cutoff low frequency oscillation and my volume low frequency oscillation are both on. And over here in this other citrus it's exactly the same. They've both got a wobble going. Over here it's the same story. And it's pretty much the exact same throughout each different instrument. Now here, it's during the uh, automation, the wobble is being turned off. And at this current point in time, I'm manually changing the cutoff frequency using um, an automation clip that I put into the playlist, as you can see here. So I'll just go back here so you can have a listen. And you can watch that knob go up and down as this goes up and down. And that's effectively a wobble there. Wow. And you can hear it more predominantly right here. With this spiky bit. So in order to do that, I've explained this in one of my previous tutorials, is you just right click on it and say create automation clip. And I've done that for both these citruses, as you can see they're paired. I've got a server of saw number 5, or a server of saw, and this is actually a built um, model that I've created. Now this is the most dominant model that I actually have in this song so far, and that's shown here in pattern 38. And if we look over here on the sequencer, you can see that I'm using different pairs at different points in time. So let's just have a listen to the pattern on its own. So anyone with a brain would actually be able to tell that each of these sets, which are colour-coded and numbered, um, have a different wobble speed. And this is the slowest one, yeah. So there you have it, the 
that's the wobble there and they're all at different speeds so pretty much what i've done is i've created these these are the originals obviously because i don't have a number and what i've done is once i'm happy with how that sounds i've right clicked and said clone and that's created the exact same one with a number next to it and then i just right clicked rename and color and then i assigned a color to it so i can keep track of what's doing what and um, I could have gone one step further and actually put these in an order of speed or low frequency oscillation or LFO for short. But uh, yeah. So that's what I've done here. Let's continue the song. From where it was, not at the start. If you look here on Mix Channel 7, that's actually what's playing the wobble. So let's have a quick look at that pattern that's doing the wobble now. 44. Now, what I've done here is I've used this, you know, another clone, which is going, which the wobble is going slower. But in order to create a bit of dynamicness within the song, all of these wobbles are different. So you can see I've got a set of a Cerbera, a default Cerbera, default Cerbera, default, blah. And what I've done is for each Cerbera, they're a left channel. And then each default, which is the one that I've created, is a right channel. This creates a, a feeling of dynamicness within the song now in order to achieve this sort of heavy wobble i'm actually using a series of effects as you can see here i've got a pa parametric eq which enforces the bass line and sort of trails off the high frequencies and this is another thing that i've actually discovered this is Blood Overdrive. It comes with FL Studio and pretty much what it is, is it's an overdrive simulator similar to one that you would use in a guitar. So you can make a heavy metal sort of guitar or whatever. But it works equally as well with any instrument. On top of that, I've got a lo-fi, which uh, crushes the sound and sort of reduces its sound quality, which creates that sort of dirty sound to it. And then I've got a limiter just to keep things in control. So if I turn the overdrive and the lo-fi off, now let's have a listen to it. The wobble sounds a lot softer and sort of almost thick and bubbly. Let's have a listen to it with just the lo-fi. Also, you can see that I've got the lo-fi turned down quite a bit. If I turn it up, it really starts destroying it. So I've turned it down just to add a little bit more depth to it. And the overdrive on its own. Let me just turn it up a bit. So yeah, that's how I achieved the uh, bass wobble in this song. And just finally at the end. There we go. Also, I'm just going to quickly explain to some of you who are interested. 
Um, that bass drop. What pattern is that? 51. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I just had to sneeze. Uh, the bass drop. Uh, pattern 51. And there we go. The bass drop. Oh, that's the wrong fucking one, isn't it? Clearly. Oh, it's that one. Pattern 48. There you are. Let me get rid of that kick. There you go. So pretty much what I've done for this, um, to achieve this, is I've used a simple buzz generator adapter. And let me just open up a new instance of it so you can see. That's what you get when you first open up buzz generator. It will not make any sound because no machine has been selected. So click on select machine, it'll open up this window. And I always use voice, void lead by Zephyr. And there you go, you have all your parameters set up. And if you go down, also just like Citrus, you have different operators. So you've got operator 1 all the way to 4, not 6. And then function, function 1, function 2, etc. And all the way at the bottom, there we go. So that makes it go from, instead of it playing just one note and then playing the next note, if you put a glide in there, when you have a note that goes starts just after a note that's still playing it will glide it down and depending on how long or how short this is will depend on how long it will take to glide obviously there's a limit to it because you've got this slider here so that makes it glide far uh yeah faster and slower depending on that but if i go i need to move my playlist back so i can find the longer glide that i had there he is 23 There. Now this one goes for a lot longer. And in order to make it go for longer, I've actually had to input notes and try and stretch it out as much as I can. See? Also, if you leave a note at the bottom going for too long, it will just continue to play that note until it releases. So yeah. That's how I achieved that uh, bass drop. So that's pretty much it for this uh, this third tutorial on creating dubstep bass wobble. Um, I hope this was handy to you. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And um, I'll try and answer them either in a comment and if I, or as a reply. If I get enough comments asking how to do something in particular... Um, I will make another tutorial like this in FL Studio for you. So, uh, yeah. Cheers for watching, and I will see you next time.